did you open your present for mom yet? Uh, what's with you? Uh, my back. Hey, I got a plan that's gonna get me out of your house pronto. A job is a plan. Is your plan a job? I'm gonna be a screenwriter, just like you. Hey, I know you think this is just another one of my get-rich-quick schemes, but I'm doing it right this time. I'm taking a seminar, and it's only gonna cost $500. Screenwriting seminars are bullshit. In theory, I agree with you, uh, but this one is highly regarded within the industry. Donald, don't say industry. I'm sorry, I forgot. But seriously, people come from all over to study this guy's method, and as soon as I sell my first script, I'm gonna pay you right back, so... Anyone who says they have the answer is going to attract desperate people, be it in the world of religion hang or... On, hang on, I gotta... I'm just going to have to lay down while you explain this to me. Hang on. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, hey. The... Uh, no, just hang on a second. Just, I'm sorry, I apologize. The... I, I apologize, hang on. There. Oh, there we go. All right. Go ahead. There are no rules to follow, Donald. Anyone who says that there are is no, just... No, 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 not rules. Principles. McKee writes that a rule says that you must do it this way. But a principle says that this way works and has worked through all remembered time. The script I'm writing, it's about flowers. Nobody's ever made a movie about flowers before, so there what are no guidelines. What about flowers for Algernon? That's not about flowers. And it's not a movie! Oh, okay. I, I haven't seen it. I don't know. So, I'm sorry, go ahead. My point is, is that those teachers are dangerous if your goal is to do something new. And as a writer, that should always be your goal. Writing is a, is a journey into the unknown. It's not building model airplanes. McKee is a former Fulbright scholar, Charles. Are you a former Fulbright scholar, Charles? Just... Hey, do you want to you hear my pitch or what? Go away, goddammit. I'm just trying to do something here. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> okay. Right. So, there's this serial killer, huh? No, no, come on. No, seriously. All right? Just stay with me. There's a serial killer, and he's taunting this cop, right? He's sending him clues about who his next victim is going to be, but he's already got her held hostage in his creepy basement. So the cop, he starts to get obsessed with finding out her identity, right? And he falls in love with her, even though he's never even met her, okay? She becomes sort of like the unattainable to him, like the Holy Grail. It's a little obvious, don't you think? Yeah, okay, okay, but the, but there's a twist, see? All right, we find out that our killer actually suffers from multiple personality disorder, and that he's actually also the cop and the girl. He's both of them. All three of them are him. Isn't that fucked up? <laughs> the only idea more overused in serial killers is multiple personality. On top of that, you explore the notion that cop and criminal are two aspects of the same person. See every cop movie ever written for an example of this. Mom said it was psychologically taught. And on top of that, you, how, how are you going to write this? Have you even thought of that? I mean, how exactly do you show a character holding himself hostage? Trick photography? That's not what I'm asking. What I'm asking you is, is in the world of this movie, Right? Where there's only one character. Yeah? yeah? Okay. In this movie, how exactly would you show the... How... How would you write the scene where this... How... I agree with Mom. It's very taut. Sybil meets... I don't know. Something very taut. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> 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 <laughs>